Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making the camshafts for my engine. But first of all I'll show you some of the parts that I've already made. I didn't know whether to do two cylinders, four cylinders. They decided to do a 90cc V6 aero engine. It's got two camshafts and overhead valves and it'll run off glow fuel. This is the crankshaft. So this, each one of these are 120 degrees apart. There'll be two pistons on each one. Here we have the uh, piston and con rod and the cylinder liner. The piston rings are made out of cast iron and so is the cylinder liner. Here we've got the camshaft covers, the tappets and the, uh, the push rods. Here we have the main cylinder. This is an interesting part to make. But I'll have to turn it around so you can see. Yeah. What we're going to make today is a camshaft that's going to be going in here. Like that. One at each side. Two camshafts. Each uh, cylinder is 15cc, so we've got 90cc. I'm going to put a propeller on it, so it's going to be an aero engine. That'll help cool it down. I decided to use uh, three carburetors, so here they are shown fastened to the manifold. I'll show you the rest of the parts when I come to assemble them, and that'll be a different video of that. But for today, I'm going to start milling the camshaft. Uh, I'm going to make the camshaft uh, using this setup, using this dividing head. I've taken the sector arms off to uh, because they just get in the way, and I've set it to 27, 27 PCD. That's what I'll be using. Uh, this is one of the blanks I've turned ready for the camshaft, so I'm going to be milling these two bits here. Uh, they're round at the moment, so these will both be cams. These two will just work just one cylinder, so I'll have six of these to do. Here's a chart of how I'm going to mill the camshaft. Uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, mill down to this base diameter here. Then I'm going to be taking a series of cuts, all these down here, and each one of them will be one degree. So we're taking one degree cut and we're taking 0.01, move another degree, 0.02, all the way down there. So I will be taking, I'll be lowering the table on my machine down to 37 degrees. And then at that same setting there, I'll be rotating 41 degrees. And then lifting the table, I'll be coming up 50 degrees until I get to that. Then once I get to there, I'll be taking the rest of the cuts, which is, uh, what was it, 232 degrees to do a complete circle. After cl completing the first side of the cam, I'll be indexing around 105 degrees, as you can see on here, from one cam to the other, and then repeating exactly the same process on the other one. So we'll have them 105 apart, 105 degrees. All right, for, for anyone who's not familiar with angular index, and I've just done it, I wrote it down here just to explain for anyone who's interested. So a normal dividing head, is, uh, they've got a ratio of 40 to 1. So one revolution, which is 360 degrees, divided by 40 equals 9. So one turn of the handle is 9 degrees. So we want 105 degrees, so divide by 9 will be 11 complete turns and 6 nines left over. So you can do what you want with that. And because I'm working on 27 PCD for the one degree I'll be using, I'll stick to that. So 6 times 3 is 18, 3 times 9 is 27. So it's going to be 11 turns and 18 on a 27. Here's another example of an angular indexing if anyone uh, wants to recap or forgot. If, where you've got minutes involved, not just the uh, all degrees, but minutes. So let's say we want 28 degrees 30 minutes, divide by 9, it's three full turns, and it leaves one degree, 30 minutes left. So nine times 60 minutes is called 540. So we've got 90 minutes over 540. Cancel out the zeros. So it gives you three full turns and nine on a 54. Or three holes on an 18 PCD. I've got the blank set up in the dividing head. First of all, I'm going to get a touch on and mill it down to the base diameter of 8 mil. And then once we've done that, I'm going to be taking small cuts up one degree intervals.
Uh, that's that's the first part of the cam done. What I'm going to do now is move over to the other cam and index the dividing head by uh, 105 degrees. So that's uh, 11 turns. And 18 on a 27. That's it, and do the same with this cam. Right, that's the two cams complete. So what I'll do now, I'll take it out, clean it up, and then uh, bring it back, show you what it looks like. Right, I've cleaned them up now with a file. Uh, this, I don't know where you can see these, but yeah, they seem to have come out all right. See one cam, 105 degrees for the other. That's the timing of the engine for the two valves. Uh, they do have curved flanks, so, so the, the tap it will sit on the top like that. I've got uh, six of these to make. What I'll do, I'll make the six and then bring it back when I've completed them. I've finally finished the cam shafts, as you can see, come out alright. Pleased with that. The, uh, the relationship between that one and that is 120 degrees and then 120 degrees to that one. So, and somehow I forgot to mention they are made out of silver steel and hardened, or you could make them out of mild steel and hardened that way. Let's try one in the actual crankcase, see what it looks like. Right, I put the uh, one of the camshafts in the cylinder block. See, I did forget to mention there's a roller bearing here, and one in that side there. These are just two half clamps out of bronze that'll be going on there, like that. fastening that. That'll all the centre parts down. But yeah, looks like it'll do the job. So. If you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe, and on my next video I'm going to be assembling all the engine. Thank you for watching.